The service entrance panel, or breaker box, is the point where the electrical power from the utility company enters your home. Most residential circuits use a circuit breaker to connect one hot bus bar, the black wire, and the neutral bar, the white wire, to provide 120 volts for the circuit. Some large circuits, such as those used for large appliances, such as a stove or range, use circuit breakers that connect both brass bus bars to the neutral bar, thus providing 240 volts to that circuit. The size or capacity of the circuit is measured in amperes, commonly referred to as amps. Typical residential circuits are 15 amp or 20 amp rated. This rating is determined by the size of the circuit breaker used to connect that circuit to the service entrance panel and with the size of the wire used. Before attempting any electrical work or repairs, you should be sure to turn the power off at the breaker box. The typical wire now used in residential construction is made up of individual insulated conductors grouped together inside a non-conductive sheath, forming what is referred to as a cable. Standard cable used in residential wiring is typically either a three-wire cable or a two-wire cable. It is important to note that, when referring to the wires in a cable, the ground is not considered a wire or conductor. For example, 12-2 cable consists of two conductors and a ground, while a 12-3 consists of three conductors and a ground. Here is a two-wire cable, where black is hot, white is neutral, and bare copper or green insulated is ground. And here is a three-wire cable. Black is hot, red is also hot, white is neutral, and green or bare copper is ground. It is also important to note that the white wire is sometimes used as a hot wire in some wiring installations. If this is the case, the white wire should be marked with black electrical tape or black paint. However, the person that installed the wire may not have marked it, so never assume that it is not hot if you are not certain. Electricity travels in a loop, or what is commonly referred to as a circuit. The electricity comes in on the hot wire and returns on the neutral wire. Any break in this circuit will stop the flow of electricity. This is exactly what a switch does when you turn it off. The contacts in the switch open, creating a break in the circuit. This is the typical wiring for a switch or an outlet, with the hot being the black, the neutral being the white wire, and the bare copper the ground. The neutral from the panel and the neutral returning from the load are often tied together in the electrical box. This is the typical wiring used for three-way and four-way switches. Black is hot, red is hot, white is neutral, and bare copper is ground. Black and red wires are referred to as travelers, and either one can be hot depending upon the position of the three-way and four-way switches. When starting any electrical wiring project, the first step is to determine which wire in your electrical box is the hot wire. This is easily accomplished by using your electrical tester. Simply attach or touch one probe of your tester to one of the wires present in the electrical box and attach or touch the other probe to the ground wire. If your tester indicates that voltage is present, then the wire you selected or tested is the hot wire. If not, then select another wire and test it. Continue until you identify the hot wire. Remember, the hot wire is the wire that is bringing the electrical power into the electrical box. This video is intended to be an aid for those individuals that already have some knowledge of electricity and electrical wiring. Those individuals with little or no experience should seek the services of a qualified electrician. Electrical wiring that is incompetently or improperly installed can result in physical harm, the loss of life, and damage to property. You should seek the services of a qualified electrician if you are not confident that you possess the knowledge, skills, and experience to work with electrical wiring.